Now let's create a new composite structure. Activate the options. Element Attributes Composites menu command. Select the composite which fits the needed skin structure best. 215 block insulated cavity plastered. Click Duplicate and set a new descriptive name. Exterior wall, white brick. Then click OK. Composite skins may represent different structural functions, like load bearing, finishing, or others. You can set this up skin by skin in the Edit Skin and Line Structure panel. Select the brick skin and change its building material to Brick Finish White by pressing the arrow button next to the skin name and selecting it. Delete the airspace skin by selecting it and pushing the Remove Skin button. Change insulation, mineral hard, and its thickness to 100. Change the concrete block structural skin to masonry block structural and its thickness to 250. Change the thickness of the plaster gypsum to 20. Composites can also be assigned to other structures like slabs and shells. This particular structure is typical for walls, but by clicking on the Use With icons, you can assign the composites to the other building structures as well. Later on, the composite structure will only appear in the Settings dialog of the assigned element types. Click OK to close this dialog. Now let's define the wall settings. Switch to Zero Ground Floor Plan and deselect the mesh if still selected. Activate the Wall tool. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the Exterior Wall White Brick Favorite from the Lesson 2 Favorites folder. In the Wall Tool Settings dialog, set the wall top linked to the 2 story and 1000 as the top offset to top length story. This function will ensure that the wall height automatically follows story height changes. The wall will model both the ground floor and the first floor walls. Set the bottom offset of the home story to minus 100 because it will start on top of the foundation structure that we'll model later. With the composite structure selected, choose the exterior wall white brick composite. Set reference line to core inside. In the floor plan and section panel, set the floor plan display as all relevant stories projected entire element. Open the classification and properties panel. Set the tags as a load bearing element and exterior. Click OK to close the dialog and select the rectangular geometry method in the info box. Now let's place the walls using the tracker coordinates input. Hover the cursor over the bottom left corner of the mesh. Type X 10,000 plus and Y 8,000 plus. This way the cursor will be moved to the correct position. Press Enter to start creating the walls and move the cursor to the right and up. When starting to draw a wall or a group of walls, a heavy black reference line will follow the cursor. This reference line determines the position of the wall which will be created relative to it. It connects walls smoothly and helps locate the walls with the cursor. Type X 10,000 and Y 6,000. Then hit Enter to finish the input. Press Fn plus F4 on a Mac or Control plus F5 in Windows to show all in 3D.